Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's March 18th, 2019. Hoping you're having a wonderful day, a blessed day. Indeed, a couple things I want to talk about uh, regarding uh, Venezuela, North Korea, and uh, situations around the world. Uh, first, let's talk, touch base about Venezuela, all right? Uh, Marco Rubio, um, he sent out a tweet a couple hours ago, uh, and the tweet read uh, that the next couple days were going to be tense, but that freedom was coming to Venezuela. All right. Uh, was this a cryptic message for things to come? Uh, we have seen from the United States of America multiple military maneuvers that would suggest an invasion of Venezuela could be coming uh, in the coming days and weeks. Uh, so it's a very troubling situation. Um, you know, ever since that whole humanitarian aid uh, fiasco went down February 23rd. We haven't heard much uh, from Venezuela other than the blackout, you know, the blackout that uh, seemed to be caused by cyber attack. Uh, now uh, we're just watching and waiting, waiting to see if the United States of America uh, does intervene in Venezuela. All right. Now, if this does happen, it's going to happen hard, it's going to happen fast. The mainstream media isn't going to act like it was a total surprise. Uh, then they're going to backtrack and talk about the blackout and how Maduro's regime has caused uh, uh, so much suffering and death within the country. Uh, a very troubling situation in Venezuela. And then with North Korea, uh, we've been talking about the fact that North Korea looks like they're going to be launching uh, more missiles, right? They're going to be testing more missiles. Uh, going back to provocative acts uh, that they did uh, last year uh, before this whole summit uh, situation took place. You know, uh, U.S. officials have come out and stated that uh, President Donald Trump would be extremely disappointed if, in fact, North Korea went back to its old ways. Uh, but we talked about this a couple days ago how the foreign minister of North Korea came out and stated that Kim Jong un is done. You know, negotiations are over. Uh, he said that we would hear from Kim Jong-un recently, uh, or soon, rather, uh, about uh, such remarks. We have not heard from Kim Jong-un yet. Um, something new on the table was the fact that we saw a lot of reconnaissance planes from the United States of America uh, patrolling the DMZ uh, just a couple hours ago. All right, And normally, we would uh, see such reconnaissance planes when a missile test was about to occur. All right. So a couple things. Uh, the coded messages were sent out by North Korea. All right. More provocative uh, you know, argument narrative from the DPRK. And now we're seeing um, these reconnaissance planes. All right. Uh, so it's a, it's a tense situation, something we have to continue to watch. Uh, I do believe that a North Korea missile test is on the way. You know, nothing, nothing is happening. Uh, that would make me think otherwise, all right? Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about today is the whole uh, India-Pakistan row. There's this whole uh, rumor going around right now that uh, uh, like a couple weeks ago when the tensions were, were soaring high and uh, there was that dogfight between India and Pakistan uh, that India uh, threatened to uh, missile attack uh, Pakistan, but Pakistan, Islamabad, came back and stated that they would uh, launch three times as many missiles at India. Uh, I don't know if this report is correct. Sounds just like a rumor to me. Apparently it came from uh, Western officials. Uh, that It sounds a little iffy to me. Now, tensions are still very high between India and Pakistan. All right? I think e even as early as this morning, we were seeing ceasefire violations. We just got word that uh, one Indian Army personnel was killed during one of those ceasefire violations. So things are still going on. India's Navy is still out and about. All right, Parts of Pakistan's airspace still closed. All right, uh, There was also reports that India uh, sent out two of its, or uh, its only two nuclear submarines. So it's a situation we have to continue to watch I think that it's going to continue to die down personally, uh, but when you've got two nuclear powers like this, 
uh, facing off and tensions are high, uh, you have to keep your eyes peeled. All right, we have it's a situation we have to continue to watch. So Venezuela, North Korea, India, Pakistan, top of my list right now. Uh, you can add Israel uh, with the whole Golan Heights situation, the whole Gaza Strip situation. You can add that up there also. But to me, you know, stuff like that happens with Israel. Uh, they routinely uh, airstrike outside their borders. They routinely uh, will make it known that they're going to attack. Uh, so much so that people are able to eva evacuate. And it seems like they hit empty buildings. And they do it to save face. Or they do it to send a message. Uh, but no real progress is made between Israel and its neighbors. You know. Uh, so watch all those situations guys. Grab a beer. Say a couple prayers. And as always keep your eyes to the skies. God bless.